How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static, and welcome your faces back to the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Let me know how your guys' day is going down in the comments. Uh, I've been super excited to get back to this. I got your guys' comments right next to me. But uh, last time, we had a bunch of talks with Marianne, and we actually have her on a yellow point now, which means we found the key points. Now, I'm going to go over some of the comments that I pulled from uh, last time. If you guys want to see last time, there'll be an annotation at the end of the video. But, Mr. Batman, Bruce Wayne 5241H, asked us, Pat, ask Mariana about the black lights. I know my sister has seizures when she sees flashing lights. Maybe she has the same thing. And there was a bunch of people that thumbed that up. So that's at the top of our comment list. So Mariana, uh, let's see. Ask her about the black lights. How do you feel around black lights? Like you're not listening. Okay, so I don't know if the black lights thing will work. Um, I know there's a couple other um, another, a couple other people that said kind of the same things about black lights. Uh, Deviant Shady was one. Uh, saying that when it comes to Mary on the blackouts or blackouts not black lights uh, It could be split personality because when the other personalities comes out. They can't remember what they've done. So um, We could ask her about that um, Split personality. I don't know about that. Okay, maybe I don't know the next comment is from Jay Scarano saying Pat ask Mariana if she sleepwalks also, I think we asked that last time um Ask her what process you meant when you asked about Dr. Devine, a good listener. The main thing about Jay's comment was maybe try asking Bryce why he doesn't believe in God anymore. Now, I don't know if that's something we've already asked him before. Uh, yeah, we've asked him, do you believe in God, but not why? So why don't you believe in God? I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day, not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift. But sometimes, it's a curse. Hmm, a curse? What kind of curse? I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. You don't need to stop. You're not complaining. Oh, come on! Dang it. I do want to talk to Bryce a lot, because I feel like I don't know anything about him, nor do we know anything about Nathan. I've been- or Claire. I really don't like Claire. I don't know why. Uh, I, 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 Bryce kind of intrigues me a little bit. But going on to the next comment. Now, an interesting comment is from Wolf Weekly saying, do you th Pat, do you think Ellen and Decker had an affair? He used to have a lot of time for me is what the direct quote from Ellen was. The affair could have gone wrong and like he wanted to break it off. She got mad and lost control. I don't know, just a thought. It's a good thought. Let's ask her. Uh, did you and Decker have an affair? Oh. What do you think of Dr. De that That was I've the response. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just I there think to this goes bidding, back to the quote that Wolf actually Dr. posted. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He had me. a lot of time for me. He was interested. Okay, so what about... What about Decker was different? Fuck, okay. Dang it! Alright, well, good good question, Wolfie, but it's, it's weird how it just linked right back to your quote. The next comment we got is from Zeke Fate, which kind of piqued my interest a little bit, and it's for Nathan. Now, Zeke says, Pat, Nathan said he was prescribed to Mazepan. Some side effects include amnesia, forgetfulness, and nervousness. Maybe touch on some of those side effects. Also, you could ask him about deja vu. Uh, did a little research on deja vu. It happens to more people between the ages of 15 and 25. Plus, if they have epilepsy or dementia, which is hereditary, it's often they would experience deja vu. So let's ask him, have you, um, experienced deja vu? I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. It's a good movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Uh, yes, I can help you. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This this is our first time around, and I trust you. Earn the trust! Okay, cool. Nifty biscuits! Well, great job, Zeke, on the deja vu. We still have a lot about Nathan we need to kind of break away at. 
but shabam, fantastic job. Now, American Idiot, let's see, uh, American Idiot mentioned it. Um, who else? There, there's a bunch of people that ask about uh, Jana Canary. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of people that wanted to ask why Ellen, uh, if Ellen considers her like an angel of mercy or an angel of death. So let's ask her, do you think, uh-oh, uh, do you think you are an angel of death? They're old. People die when they're old. Everybody dies. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes, though. That doesn't answer my question at all, but okay. So, interesting. Interesting! Very, very interesting. Well, I think we're going to go poke Bryce for a little bit. Thank you, everybody who commented. And please keep throwing your comments down below. Uh, if I didn't if I didn't ask your guys' comment or whatnot, it might have been something I touched upon already. Or it just didn't provoke them to give me an answer. So we're going to go with a little hinty hint with Bryce. Do I tell them, there, yes, there are too many religions or no, there's not enough religions? Um, Let's say there are too many religions. Then we agree. There we go. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Zeitgeist? Some of it is believable. And the what part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts, it's more likely they've all got it wrong. And one of them has got it right. Okay, so I agreed with him that there was too many religions, but that didn't provoke anything. And it doesn't look like we have anything to work off with Bryce. So, um... Huh! Well, that, that seems to be it with Bryce. Do I have another hinty hint? No, I, oh, hint for one second. Boom. Oh, come on. That hint is one second. What is your problem? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Failure? What do you mean failure? Failure? Aren't you? Apparently, I've gone a little mad. For me. I have 25 hour days. You and Nathan have some some uh, some, some stuff. Tw 25 hour days? At midnight each day. Time as you know it freezes. In my world it just slows down to almost Whoa! stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. That would be awesome! An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Uh, uh, what do you do in your midnight hour? I'm not sure what you're asking me. Can, can you be more specific? Uh, more specific of what do you do in your 20, in your fifth hour? What do you do with your, ex, your, your extra hour? Fuck duck. At midnight each day. Hold on. Time as you know it freezes. In my world it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. Free to wander around. An hour later, normal reality continues. Let's ask a midnight hour. Midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing. There is a keyword. Know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. Oh, I'm that's completely a... caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. So why are you 25 here? 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently it's not real and I'm insane for thinking it is. Well, what do you think, Doctor? I don't think you're crazy. I, 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 I don't think, oh God, you're insane. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. You asked me, so I gave my opinion! Okay, well, let, we've got some other stuff here. So I asked, uh, so he said he was depressed, so, so... So why are you here if you're not depressed? Why are you here if you aren't depressed? You'd think being a gravedigger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Every job's stressful, I understand that. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent gravediggers. 
At least uh-huh. ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Okay, so there's a lot there. I'm gonna have to rewatch You'd that. You'd think being a gravedigger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Yeah. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used Okay, so... Burial and cremation. I'm pro-cremation. Not ah. just because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified. Like, oh. you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. You're Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? You would tech- Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. Okay, so that that is a very hard point to argue. If you're being cremated, th- then yeah, technically, since we're made out of energy, you burst in back to the atmosphere, but you become ash. That that that's that's not part of the universe anymore. That spark of energy that gets released, yeah, maybe. But be like, I want to be buried. Me personally, I I don't know what your guys' stance on that is. You guys have long, long lives ahead of you. But I, I I don't, I I feel if I get buried, right? Yes, my body will rot, uh, and and so will the box that I'm buried in. But the bugs and worms and, and, and maggots and all that crap will kind of feed off my body. And my body will kind of decompose into the earth and life goes on with that cycle kind of a thing. That is more... I, I see it more of a cycle of life kind of a thing than this, than the cremation thing. But that's just my personal stance. Uh... That's better than the original spark. That's just gone kind of a thing. That seems very, very quick, but... But, uh, okay, that's just my stance. I'm pro cremation. Oh, I need to listen to this one Not more time. Not just because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. Okay. It's more dignified. Like, you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you... Okay, hold on. One with the universe. We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? Yes. I don't have any friends, so I I suppose that makes me lonely. You've got a friend in me, buddy! In the midnight hour, though, I have as many friends as I like. Well, fuck me then. Do you have a favorite celebrity, Doctor? Yes. In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them. Like, we're the best of friends. That's creepy. I I love Emma Watson. Emma Watson is a fantastic actress. She's a fantastic person. And I had the biggest crush on her when she was Hermione because she's gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, I also love Jim Carrey and Lemony Snicket's Fortunate Events movie. Italian man. Anyway, You'd let's think go being back a on. Dick had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Okay. Uh, how stressed are you? Ah, oh, dang it. Uh. How stressful is your job? Balls. Let's hint it up. What did you do in the midnight hour? I asked them that earlier, did I not? What do you do in the midnight hour? In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with I work. I swear I asked that. Send. Sometimes I play chess against myself. I used to play chess with my brother. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. I don't know about relaxes, but... I like chess. Uh... I like chess too. I like chess. I like chess too. I still too. play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. Yes. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. The queen? I I do agree with what he says, but there's nothing more satisfying than that. Cause I I used to play a lot of card games. I, I dabbled a little bit in the Magic the Gathering. I had a poison deck for those of you guys that play MTG. Uh, I also played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! and, and Pokemon. And, and Pokemon is not as strategic, obviously, but but like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, it can be. 
you set up these combos and bam or if you're playing a game you're like okay i'm gonna go to point a to point b to point c and kill the boss it, it's all strategy and i love there's nothing more satisfying totally agree with that but the queen i stumbled across a relic myself an ancient chess piece a queen i believe the best chess piece the most freedom of movement the most important but they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. Henley Church. I wish I hadn't told anyone. They? Hold on. Oh, achievement unlocked! House officer! I have no idea what that means. But they? That's meaningless. Who took it away? Who took the queen? Oh my god. Okay, Henley Church was another thing. Henley Church? Oh gosh, typewriter. No. Uh, where do you work? I already asked that. Like, what location? Hen, hen, oh gosh. Henley Church? So that, I'm I can't help you. Okay, I'm spelling it wrong. Hold on. I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece, the most freedom of movement. Freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance. Okay. Protected site? I have no knowledge. Okay, okay. Henley. Why Henley Church? No. God dang it. Okay. Well, I need to get back on the main points here. I got. Why are you here if you're if you aren't depressed? And I like chess too. So why are you? You'd here? think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Okay, what what perks do you have as a gr grave digger? Oh come on! What perks? Is that something I? Yes, it should be something you You'd know think about. Being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. Okay, competent grave diggers. Henley Church, where I work, is Boom! located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. Mott and Bailey. You can't Bailey. use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. You mean like a relic you found? A relic? What kind of relic? Balls! Balls! Okay. I don't have anything for you. You have no balls. That's a little concerning. Uh, okay. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. Mott and Bailey. Ma I don't know what a Mott and Bailey is. Allegedly, Henley Church is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey just castle. just said castle. I say allegedly because a relic was found and dated around that century. But the archaeologists haven't found any further proof as yet. Okay. Mm Interesting. So we have two things to talk about, but it's competent Henry grave digging. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and This has me so involved. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Okay. Uh, destroy a relic. Oh, God. Destroy. That okay, God dang it. Okay, mechanical grave diggers. Balls! This is so... I don't know. Okay, let's hint it up. Let's see. What hint? What does he know about Henley Church? Okay, what do you know about Henley Church? Henley Church is relatively small. Well... For the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once was owned by Scientologists. Scientology. They handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Uh, oh crap! Oh crap! We got a yellow mark next to Bryce! Okay, packed in bodies? I can't help you there. Okay, well... Well, we have two of five. So we've hit all the key points. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like what we want to do, right? We we want to get to that, or do you want to get to green? I don't know, but let's go back to Ellen while we have time now.
So, Ellen, I don't think we can hint you up yet. No, not yet. So, so I'm going back to the comments and I'm looking at your guys' questions again. Emo Lizard, which is Liz, asked uh, a bunch of questions. Um, she has one for Mariana, Ellen, and Bryce. I'm going to go to her Ellen section. She says, is she permitted to give herbal medicine to patients? So, let's ask her that because that is a fantastic question. Can you give herbal medicines to your pa oh, patients? Balls. Okay. The other one was, how does she get along with her coworkers? Do you get along with your, oh gosh, coworkers? They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. Wait. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Ah, uh, that's never a good nickname. Angel of Death? Ah! Uh -huh. You're a shitty gummy. Okay, so that's why you guys in the comments were asking me this. Now, I have seen a couple of comments saying you guys have beaten the game. A couple of my friends, like Morty and Roses, uh, they've been playing it every time I hear them in Discord. They're playing the game, which is awesome. But, so that's... That's kind of freaky. Uh, they call me the Angel of Death. Angel because so many death. patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Okay, that is still really creepy. So I did the hint and then Ed said, is she lying about being stressed? Are you really stressed or are you lying? That's a good thing to oh come on uh but what's a good thing to say uh are you really gosh type patrick are you really stressed are you lying about come on about being stressed it's not the job that stresses me it's the people i work with so she doesn't like her the nurses co they're mean to me they call you the angel of death Kind of. Curious achievement unlocked. Oh, I'm a curious kitty cat. Okay, so why are they mean to you? Oh, come on. How many patients have died on your shift? Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. Uh, tell me about Hilda. She's one of the crotchety ones. Crotchety, Always that's such a weird Always swearing and spitting at me. Never oh, got anything lovely. nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Okay. Oh, crap! We hit on the cave voice! Oh, my God! <laughs> Okay, so we got Ellen, Mariana, and Bryce all to yellow marks. Now, I don't think that means we're done. But, maybe. Okay, we got a little bit more time, so I might dabble with Claire a bit. Because I haven't really talked to Claire. I don't like Claire. Nathan's just a big ball of random weirdness. And he kind of weirds me out. Don't wave at me. You're weird. Okay. We're going to Claire. Let's hint it up because I don't know what we last talked about. I should ask her about her obsessive tendencies. Uh, about, okay, about your obsessive tendencies. I'm obsessed with my husband. That's... It's absurd, really. Why is it absurd? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Wait, uh... Why shouldn't he be here? Don't walk away! He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. This is what I don't like! Her, 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 her freaking answers are like, God, like, don't matter. Just bleh, kind of thing. He's okay. lucky to be alive. He almost died. How did he almost die? My husband is not a well man. What do you mean? We've been having problems for a while now. Are you causing the problems? What 
kind of problems. I should have divorced him. You're all over the place. I wish I had. Why? You're so, so mean! So much could have been avoided. Why didn't you divorce him? I spelled divorce wrong, didn't I? Divorce. No, that doesn't mean... Why didn't you divorce him? I don't know. Sorry. I should have divorced him. Divorce is such an imperfect it right. of separating two people, don't you think? I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. You just said you're addicted That's to your husband. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. Movie length! I got an achievement unlocked. Okay. Uh, okay, so how he, uh, why is he, why is he lucky to be alive? I already, uh, wait, no, this, that leads My me husband to... is not a well man. Okay, why isn't he a well man? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. Well, that's not very I good. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Well, that's really fucking shitty of you. Why can't you cope? In sickness and in health, lady! Why can't you cope with him? David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Aren't you super crazy rich or something? Uh, why can't you hire someone? David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. I would like that because lots of issues David here. has trouble looking after himself. Okay. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there just staring. In why is he staring in to the stars. I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. Okay, so she don't know. Ah, uh, this is just a big ball of confusion. Oh my okay, goodness! So I'm going I back. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going back through a lot of her old stuff, and she talked about violent tendencies and fair, this violent only... outburst. So, what was the violent outburst? I. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Uh, Shocking, isn't it? Yeah! Why did you stab him? I stabbed you first. With my... Okay, let's just stop. <laughs> let's it was stop. a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity. I'm not really sure which. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Who provoked you? That's not what I wanted to ask. So, why... Uh, clarity? I don't... Oh, my God. Um, okay, so why is he a well man? His health is deteriorating. Uh, God, I don't even know. I don't even know what to ask David her. David has trouble looking after himself. Why does he have trouble looking after himself? I don't have an answer. So what, what happened to Iris? Iris was David's assistant optician. Okay. Not anymore. Okay. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Okay, so Iris was David's secretary or no, no, no. He was having an affair with her or something like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm. <sighs> she says it was like a brief, temporary, temporary insanity. Who's to say who is sane or insane? We all see the world differently, don't we? Uh... Yes? How do you see the world? I don't have anything to say about Oh, that. come on! Okay, time to hint. Hinty, hint, hint. The lake house. It's a house on a lake that they live at. What is the lake house? Herper, the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Okay, let's derpy derp it. What is the main house where I live? Oh my goodness. Okay, so why is David at the lake house? Why? Not 
<sighs> David's staying at the lake house. Why? It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have okay, so why don't you use the lake house? Why don't you stay at the lake house? Let me separate the words. Why is such a stupid word in this game? His health, if you can call it that. His health? Since our... Okay. Altercation, he's become less and less active. His oh. mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. That's very colorful wording. Okay, so... Since our... Okay, altercation is... Altercation? I tried to hurt David once. Yeah, you stabbed him with a steak knife! I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. I would be- It was a private matter though. The police should never have been involved. Why were the police involved? I already know you stabbed him with a steak knife. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only yes. sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Okay. What... What can I do? I don't know anything about that, Doctor. What? Why do you think I'm gonna help? You stabbed your husband because he was having an affair with an optician person named Iris, and you have a lot of money, and... I, do you get often angry? I never used to get angry. Ever. Do you often get you're angry? angry you're not in I control. Think I... Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Do you lose control often? Are you the Hulk? Are you the Hulk? Sorry, Doctor. I can't answer. Are you Bruce Banner? Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Hold on. When you get mad, uh, do you turn green? Sorry, Doctor. I can't answer that. Are you know. sure? You just don't want to answer that. She's the whole confirmed! I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. What happens when you lose Let's control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Okay. Well, holy crap. We have Claire done now, too. So I asked her what happens when you when you lose control. So we've got four out of our five with orange marks. I feel like we did some good here. Uh, the last character we have is Nathan, our last patient here. And he's a guy... I he, uh, I have to wrap my head around Nathan because I just don't even know what to friggin' ask him, man. But I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Leave what you guys should ask down in the comments for Nathan for next episode. And uh, if we have to keep going, I, I know we have to go green, I think. I think. Let's see the menu. What are we at? We're at 91% of this act progress. Only 14% of the game done. My goodness. But, uh, I think once we get to, once we get done with Nathan, Nathan that might be our 9% of this act. And then we might get new characters or might have something new happen. But leave your questions for Nathan next time. Um, I do love all your guys' beautiful faces. Thank you guys so much for all the support on this series. If you guys are enjoying it, though, smash that like button down below. Subscribe today if you already haven't. And I'll see you guys all next time for some more Dr. Decker. See you guys then!